Hello, hello, I'm Melissa. Welcome to Cloud Mom. This is the second video I'm doing on this wonderful baby carrier, the Sakura Bloom Ring Sling. I have another video where I really go into the mechanics of this carrier. This one is about how do I carry my newborn with his legs out, which is something you can do safely, but you have to do it properly. So we're gonna walk through that here. Very, very quick summary. This is the shoulder part of the carrier. This is the tail. This should be the rings in a corsage-like position high up on you, not at the breast area. So I'm gonna put my carrier on now. I'm a righty, so I like having my carrier on my right with my tail out like this, okay? Now, whereas when my baby has his legs in, I'm creating a pouch like this, like a kangaroo pouch. Now, I'm going to have the inner part of that fabric lower because my baby's legs, I'm gonna lean down so you guys can see this here, my baby's legs are gonna go out the bottom of this, here. And then I'm gonna be tucking the fabric under his bum to make sure he's nice and secure. So one thing to do, make sure you get this adjusted and in a pretty good place before you even put your baby in, okay? And that way, you're gonna have an easier time, okay? So here I am, I'm preparing my fabric. I'm gonna tighten a little bit. And the way I tighten is I pull up on this tail and I move in. So I go up like this and in. And then I pull down on these different rails that are part of the tail, okay? Now I'm gonna go get my baby to sleep in the crib. So here's Emma, she's a newborn. The way I'm gonna put her into the Sakura is by lowering her into the carrier. And her bum should be below her knees. The fabric should be stretched out to go from knee to knee on the bottom. Okay, you're always supporting her neck. And I'm gonna move her in here. She's probably gonna to wanna to have her hands in the front. She's probably sucking her fingers. And I'm gonna move the fabric back like this, supporting her in the bum area. Now let me see and show you guys what's gonna happen with the legs. Here is one knee, and here is my fabric. Fabric is over the knee, and it's going from knee to knee, like that, okay? now. I have to, once she's in this position, basically push her bum down so that the weight is on the middle part of the fabric so that she's nice and secure into the carrier. So you kind of do that like that to make sure the baby's nice and down there in the carrier and being properly held. Now I can tighten up at the top and the way I do that again is by raising this inner part of the tail and pulling in, make sure my corsage is nice and tight and I pull down on these parts of the tail. I'm gonna move this up again Pulling up, pulling down. Pulling down here and adjusting it. Sometimes your fabric will get tangled and you just have to kind of play with it and make sure you get it into the right place. So let me see, so there she is. Ah, final thing. Make sure this is nice and high and supporting her neck, okay? Um, you can also twist this tail and move this here and wrap it around to give your baby extra neck support and that's recommended. Make sure your shoulder strap right here is down because that is gonna allow you to evenly distribute the weight. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. If anyone else has tips on carrying the baby with the legs out position, please leave them on this video on cloudmom.com. Best of luck carrying your baby in the early months and enjoying your baby and thank you so, so much for watching.